Okay, in this video, I want to talk about the Grignard reaction. So, let me choose a color here. So, Grignard. This is Grignard reaction. So, what's characteristic of our Grignard reagents is that we have this MGBR group. So, we just have this hexane ring. This is just arbitrary, it doesn't have to be a hexane ring. MGBR. That is a Grignard reagent. Grignard reagent. They will have this MGR, MGBR. So I could have something that looks like this. Um, something that looks like this. That is just characteristic of a Grignard reagent, this MGBR. So about this Grignard reagent is it is a strong nucleophile. So strong nucleophile and it is a strong base. So if we have any acidic protons in our um, in our other reagent or other reactant, it will react with that. So if we had like an alcohol, our Grignard reagent would react with it immediately. So it would attack this proton and then we would get something that looked like this, where our hydrogen just bound right there. I know if I draw one hydrogen, you should draw them all out. But the whole purpose of this is to say, if we have an acidic proton in any of our reactants, it's going to immediately react with that. So let's go through a mechanism. Okay, what's important to know is that the Grignard reagent always reacts with this electrophile in the carbon-oxygen bond. So something that looks like this, the carbon-oxygen bond. It will react here. So if we had a molecule that looked like this, our Grignard reagent will attack this carbon right here. Okay, so let's just do the mechanism. There is a shortcut I'm going to show you. So let's say this is our Grignard reagent. A really good tip is, is just to discard this, get rid of this entire thing and write it as this because this is the same thing. Like if we have this guy, MGBR, there's a Grignard reagent, discard this guy, and then just put a negative charge on that carbon it's connected to. So let's do another one. If we have something like this, MGBR, discard that, discard this whole bond right here, this whole thing, and then we'd have something like this. So I'm just gonna keep doing more we would discard this whole thing and then we'd have something like this. So this is what I mean by the shortcut. If, when we see our MGBR, just discard that because it makes the mechanism look a lot more simple, a lot easier, a lot more visually pleasing. It's very easy to see what we're doing. So let's do the mechanism. Okay, let's look at this mechanism right here. So this molecule right here, this compound contains our MGBR, so that's our Grignard. This compound contains our carbonyl group, this guy right here. So that's our electrophile. And specifically, we'll be attacking this carbon, the one that's part of the carbonyl group. So use my shortcut, discard this, and draw it as this. Wow, that looks bad. with our negative charge on that carbon. Add our electrophile. We start at our nucleophile or our Grignard reagent. Grignards are also good nucleophiles and good bases, so nucleophile. Once we attack this carbon, this pi bond breaks and we'll get something that looks like this. Let me draw this a little bit better. Eh. A 
as you can see here, we made a new carbon-carbon bond. So that's also spe special about uh, Grignard reagents. So we are making a carbon-carbon bond, which is this guy right here, this new carbon-carbon bond. And then our last step is to protonate this oxygen with our acidic workup step with this HCl, H2L. So I'm just going to write HCl, H2L. And that will give us, I'm going to draw the product down. Eh, I can fit it here. With this as our final product. An alcohol, and we have this benzene ring attached. So we made a new carbon carbon bond and we created an alcohol. So that is the mechanism for a Grignard reaction. I will be making more videos on certain types of Grignard reactions that make certain types of products, like how. CO2, we can get a carboxylic acid, stuff like that. So I hope this video helped you and thanks for watching.